Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 15th day of October, being Sunday, and with 28th night time of the church calendar year A. And this will be coming from Prophet Isaiah chapter 25, verse 6 to 10. A response to some will come from Psalm 23, verse 6, CD. Our second reading will be coming from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 12 to 14, and verse 19 to 20. Our gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 22, verse 1 to 14. The theme of our message today is, come to the marriage feast. <laughs> There's an invitation for me and you today to come to the marriage feast. Come and eat, come and drink, free of charge. That's the invitation God has given to all of us to come to his wedding feast of his only beloved son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in the precise way of it, come to this feast. And now why, when you read the book of Proverbs chapter 9, verse 1 to 6, he said, the wisdom has built a house. He has set up the table. He has killed his lamb. He has missed his wine. And he sent us the maid servants to go and he built the house with seven pillars. I sent out his maid servant to sell the tires pointed the pan and invite people to come and eat or come and drink free of charge. Yes. Come and eat. Come and drink free of charge. And now what you see today played out from Prophet Isaiah. Isaiah said, prophesy that the Lord will build with prepare a banquet of fat fruit and a very refined wine. And on this mountain where he will prepare this food, there he will remove all the covering cross that are covering people. Everything that covers you, either make you to be stupid, will be removed. He said, there he will remove the veil covering the eyes of nations. And they will no more be barbarians. They will no, will no more be racist. They will no more be tribalistic. When the very, because that veil of tribalism and religious bigotry will cover your eyes and you begin to act like a barbarian or being a or racist. God will remove that. He said he will remove it. He will destroy death finally. He will wipe away all tears. He removed the shame of the nations at this very mountain, in this very banquet, this will all happen. As I prophesied, and people who, he said that people who witnessed it will confirm, that's the Lord we are waiting to come and save us, and it has happened, we are happy. That's the prophecy that said. And he will provide this banquet for all nations, no person is excluded, including you and me. White and black, north and south, east and west, every person is invited to this, will come to this mountain for this food. That's the prophecy. And now why today in the gospel message, you see Jesus talking to the chief priests, the elders and the scribes, telling them a parable. That the rich man prepared a banquet for his, the marriage of his son, the marriage feast of his son. Yes. And invited guests to come for the feast, marriage feast. Send them invitations. Special people sent to invitation to come. And when the time for the feast came, he sent his servants to go and tell them the marriage feast is ready. I've came my house and I have done all the cooking and everything. Come for the feast. Instead of people coming for the feast, they turned around, played mild of it. One went to his farm and all went to his business. Gave reasons, shallow reasons, frivolous reasons and left. They didn't go to the wedding feast, and they were invited. Some were not satisfied. They seized the servant who came to invite them, killed some, 
and treated some shamefully. And when they came learned about it, he went and destroyed, killed all those who killed the servants and destroyed their village, burnt it down. Then he said to his servants, Say, since the people who were invited for this wedding feast are not worthy, go to the street and invite any person you see. Yes, since the people who were invited, we have prepared, they are not sure that not worthy, but not responding to it. Let's go to the street and invite any person you see. And the servant went to the street and they started inviting every person. Any person they saw on the street, so come, come eat, come and eat, come and drink. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. Yes, filled with guests. So when you are invited, you refuse to come, others will come. If you refuse to eat, others will eat. If you refuse to drink, others will drink. Excluding you. Because I'm sure you are not worthy. And we're told when the, the host came in, he saw somebody without a wedding garment. He said, my friend, how do you enter here without a wedding garment? Because we prepared everything for every person here. How did you enter without a wedding garment? What does it call wedding garment? You didn't take the disciplines, the rules that he required for this wedding. Why don't you keep to the rules? Yes, the rules were given to you. How the facilities were made for you to take the discipline for this wedding. Why don't you get up to it? And he could not talk. And he told the servants to buy him in China and throw him into the outer darkness where they'll be weeping and mourning. What does that mean for all of us? Yes, he's telling you. All of us are invited to the wedding feast and the rules of living, taking part in this wedding feast. They already specified that, keeping the rules of God, keeping the commandments of God. Yes, that's the condition. There is no other garments you wear for that feast. You cannot go to that feast in sinful mood. You cannot go to that feast being, being an idol worshiper. No. You come purified, you come sanctified to, for the feast. And you know what you are going in for. And when you fail to do that, you'll be thrown into the outer darkness. So God has invited all of us to this wedding feast of Jesus. Now we're invited to be Christians. You are invited to be Christians, uh, to share in this faith, to share in this love. The banquet prepared the father with his only son. He killed his only meat, he killed. And the one he prepared his own blood for the salvation of the world. And that's what we're shunning and are not turning up, giving reasons. Have more earthly things than heavenly things to embrace. You have been invited to the heavenly banquet and you are thinking of earthly banquet. And you are distracted by earthly things. That proves you are not worthy of the feast. You are not worthy of the invitation. And then they went out to the street and invited people. Since you will not use the pro, since you are not worthy, go and invite every person. One we were not invited before. Go and bring them in anywhere you find them. And they came and celebrated. So when you fail to turn to God, others will turn to him. When you fail to come and drink, people will come and drink still. Yes, that you don't believe in God, there's, doesn't, there's no God. Get it clear that we are, you are invited to this banquet where Jesus said in John 6, 53, if you don't eat the, son, the, the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have any life in you. If you eat the body and drink the blood of the only Son, I will raise you up on the last day. You will have eternal life. And the food I'm going to give you is the food I'm going to give you is my own flesh. And the wine I'm going to give you is my own blood. Just as I, I said, when you eat this body, you are in me, I mean you. As I say in the Father and drop strength from him. Can you see John chapter 6, 53 to 55? Yes. That's the banquet you are all invited to. Any day you go to the church and you are not taking part in that banquet, you will regard it you didn't attend the church. Because that's the essence of coming there that day. You are fed with the word. You are fed with the bread and wine. In day you didn't attend. If you have any reason not to attend it, you have denied yourself. You are sure you are not worthy of the kingdom of God. And that's why today Paul was talking to the to the Philippians and uh, to the Paul was talking to the Paul was talking to the Philippians and said. He said, because I have been trained, formed for this salvation of God. Do you know what happened? I've learned how to live in poverty, in riches, 
in abundance and lack, and I know how to live out all of them. If I have plenty, wonderful, I eat, I manage it well. If I don't have anything, I manage it well. How do I do that? She said, I've learned this secret. And I said, I can do all things in him who strengthened me. With, with him in me, I can do all things. Yes. But yet he was kind of you to share my trouble. You see, even though I don't need any patience as this, but it's kind of you to share my trouble, to care for me. And because you have cared for me, yes, he said, my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. As you have given to me because I am a servant of God, you get it in abundance. Yes, that's the promise. Paul is confirming it. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. You see, this is the essence of it. Yes. If you see food you eat, that's the discipline. You are not enslaved to anything. You are detached from everything. Everything serves you, not your serving them. Every situation is to glorify God. And that's why you are invited to this feast. So since you are invited to Show you are worthy. Take the discipline required. And learn from the feeding and everything you take that you cannot continue to be a slave to anything. I have given himself for you. Learn how to give yourself for the glory of God and for others. Yes. That's the essence of the message today. Invited to the wedding feast. So that you know how, having eaten from the wedding feast, you know how to give wedding feast to others. And to glorify God. And that's why the psalmist who understood this so well today, this said, In the lost own house shall I dwell for length of days unending. In his house I will dwell for the length of days unending. I will dwell there forever. I've discovered it. I can't leave it anymore. Since it's there, they remove my tears. They say they destroy the that I fear. That is where they remove the veil that covers my eye. That's where they remove the shame of my life. And destroy death that fears me. Why should I not go to that feast? If that is the essence of that feast. And God help us understand. That we are invited to this great feast. The feast of our own salvation. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the grace of coming to the wedding. To the wedding feast. All the days of our life. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.